Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. My name is Jack Fraley, I'm a freelance videographer, photographer, video editor and everything video production. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. This can be the basics or some tips and tricks that um, I've picked up from shooting nightlife. So I've been shooting professional videos for about four years now and I've been doing nightlife for about a year and a half. Um, and some of these are just tips and tricks that I've personally picked up along the way, you know, little stuff here and there, and I've compiled this into a video, a nice little quick video for you guys who wanted to, you know, get started in maybe nightclub videography or photography and stuff like that. So, when you shoot a nightclub, this environment is very difficult. I think it's personally the hardest type of videography you can do, strictly because you cannot control the lighting, you cannot control the environment. You're dealing with, you know, drunk idiots who try and <laughs> spill stuff all over your camera that just get in your way and stuff. But with all of that side, it's a really nice um, environment, you know, it's really creative. You can get creative with some of your angles. So, without further ado, here's some of the basic tips that I've picked up on shooting nightlife. So, tip number one, get out into the crowd, right? So many people stick to the DJ booth on stage. Like, if you see me, on a gig, you know, I'm, I'm right in the crowd, bro. I'm, I put an example on, right? I've got some of the, the coolest clips I've ever gotten when I'm in the middle of the crowd, right? I've got hands in the air and stuff. You're really in the moment with people, you know, this, this type of videography, you know, this isn't like, you know, strictly weddings. This isn't like the formality of corporate. It isn't the stresses of weddings. This is a really laid back, chill environment where you can actually have a good time but you need to have you obviously you need to have a level of professionalism but you need to have a good time as well you need to capture the vibe you know and you're not going to do that stood in the dj booth you're not going to do that stood on stage trying to zoom into that girl throwing it back you look like a bit of a weirdo so get out there get into the crowd and get them candid shots right if i see you right if i do a, if i do a shoot with you and i see you on the stage sticking to the dj booth i will kick you off the stage I will boot you off and say go go into the crowd because those are where the clips are, those are where the candid shots are. There, you're not trying to zoom into the fucking girl who's throwing it back and oh my god look at me and you're there trying to zoom in like a bit of a weirdo in the corner of the stage. No. Get into the crowd and have a good time with the people. So tip number two, get a variety of shots right. So you know starting out my nightlife career I guess you could say. Um, I only used to do, I only, <laughs> I, I had a DSLR, it was the Nikon D3300 and I only had a kit lens, it was a 50mm, uh, that was the widest I had at the time and oh my god, everything was shot on a 50mm and you know I didn't really have any crowd shots, the first ever nightclub I did was in Cargo, Manchester, you know they just opened, they didn't really have a videographer so I was like yo, I'm new to you know this whole nightclub thing, I went and shot it and they liked it, but they didn't have, it didn't have, you know, crowd shots, DJ shots really. And that's what they were looking for, but they didn't end up using it because I didn't have a variety of shots, you know, there wasn't a lot of crowd shots or anything like that. So get a variety of shots, you know, get CO2, confetti, DJ, uh, crowd shots, you know, candid shots of people enjoying themselves, the hands in the air. Um, that's just a you know basic list of what I personally get when I'm doing a nightclub. So make sure you get a variety of shots. There's nothing worse. Learn from my experience. There's nothing worse than getting into an editing suite and realizing you've uh, you only shot five crowd shots. There, honestly, there is nothing worse than that. <laughs> it, it really you know kind of drains you. Like oh shit. I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? Because you can't go reshoot it. It's a live environment, it's a live event videography. You cannot go and reshoot. It's not like it's a short film, like it's a music video, where you can reschedule a shoot. It, it, once you've shot it, once you've left the venue, it's over, right? You, you can't go and reshoot. So make sure you get a good variety of shots. Tip number three, make sure you're well equipped. Right, so when I say this, this is aimed at the beginners. Um, maybe you, you know, you've landed your first gig or something and you, you don't really know what to do. Make sure you're well equipped. A nightclub is a very, very you know, dark environment. And if you're shooting it on your phone or maybe you know, a DSLR where you can only push the ISO about uh, 6400 without getting grainy and the footage unusable, make sure you bring along an LED panel. You can get one of these for like 20 quid off Amazon. And that will be your light source because obviously, you know, a nightclub is very dark. You will need uh, to compensate for the light 
And the way you do that is with a LED with an LED panel. So you know, make sure you get one of those. Or even if you don't, you can't afford one of those. Like bring along your phone. Some of these phones have got really bright uh, flashlights or torches on them. So make sure you bring along some sort of other you know light source because it is a really dark environment. And make sure you know the basics. You got your batteries charged. You got your, your SD cards aren't full. I was doing a nightclub once and my SD cards were full and I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I was myself so you don't want to be that guy you don't want to be me who's trying to you know delete stuff from your SD card to free up some storage make sure you're really well equipped and you're prepared for the night and it'll go 10 times smooth and you'll have a blast tip number four have some balls right this goes back to like the first one if you see a girl throwing it back in the club and you're too scared just go for it bro like most people want to be on camera when they've got alcohol involved when it's kind of like, you know, maybe you get to the nightclub about 10, 11, maybe 12 at night. You know, the, the, the vibe's down here a little bit, but when the night picks up at like midnight, one, two, like it goes up, it hits a peak and it stays at that peak. And then like three, four, five, when the club closes, it goes down. So when the peak's at the top, that's when everyone, you know, loves you. Everybody loves the cameraman. Nobody doesn't want to be on picture when they're pissed out of their head. So make sure, you know, you have balls, you go to the crowd, you go get those nice clips. Say it's uh, an Afrobeats event, you see that girl throwing it back, right? Go, go and film me. Even, you know, ask like, point to the camera, kind of like hype them up. Yeah, ooh, let's go, you know? Don't just be that weirdo who's on stage trying to zoom into the girl who's just having a good time. You look like a bit of a weirdo, bro. So go in, have some balls, go into the crowd, ask people, you know? If you have a, have a list of shots you wanna do, right? Maybe you want a silhouette, maybe it's like a big venue. It's got multiple levels, right? Maybe you want a silhouette shot of people in the hands in the air and go, yeah, like, you know, enjoy themselves. So just go up and ask them, you know, guy, hey guys, do you want to be in a video? This is the shot I'm looking for. I'm looking for a silhouette shot. Face that, yeah, direct them, be a director. Face that way, put your hands in the air, have a, you know, throw, have a good time, and you'll get the shot. Like, I don't understand why people just don't, you know, ask people, you know, people, they're not going to buy up your head, right? They, they're, they're nice people, they just ask them. Especially when they're drunk, they'll comply, they see a camera, oh yeah, I'm going to be on camera. They want to be on camera when alcohol is involved. So go ask them, make sure you get all of the shots and have some confidence. Don't be scared trying to skirt your way around the venue at the, at the walls, right? You're glued to the walls, you're like, oh! Right, actually have some confidence, go in there, you know, ask people, you know, hey, how's your night going? Get get, get your social juices flowing, as I like to say. Get in the mood, go ask them, say how the night's going, you know, say they want to be on camera, you know, get 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 your shots that you need, have a, have a vision of what you want your after movie to look like. And if you don't have it, just go ask someone to pose for the camera, but not like a pose shot, so you kind of like make it candid. So just go have a good time, have some confidence, Go and have a good night, you know, this isn't a stressful environment, you're supposed to have a good time when shooting a nightlife video. Tip number five, do not use still footage. I am again at fault of using still footage. I had to move in shots but most of my footage was still and static and in this TikTok, Instagram world, you know, Instagram Reels, where nobody really has an attention span more than five seconds, you're gonna be snoring your head off, right? Nobody wants to see still footage like you're a tripod. You're not gonna be a tripod, just focusing that way. Move your body, move the stuff. Like if you can, if you can do a reveal shot from over the DJ, like you go over his head like that to reveal the crowd, you know, everyone going mad, CL2, confetti is popping, you know, have, get, get cool with, get creative with your shots, you know, don't, like I throw a clip on here, like I was doing a, a nightclub in Liverpool, um, like back in May this year, and um, it was a second floor, but they actually blocked off the second floor, and that gave me a nice little creative thing that I could do. So I went to the second floor, locked my gimbal, and put it down, and got like, what looked like a bit of kind of like a side drone shot like that. When, re when in reality, it was just me locking my camera and lowering it, lowering it down like a crane or something. Get creative with your shots. And if you're struggling, here's another example, right? This was in Liverpool again. It was a bit of a rave. And um, I used the barrel roll feature on the camera. Um, and uh, I was listening to the music. I was like, oh, hang on, I can get creative here. And I used the barrel roll of the camera for the intro. Brrr, I sped it up. And it looks really cool. It's, it's, a, it's a cool intro to the video. It's a creative environment. You've got spotlights and that sort of stuff. Get creative with your movements and stuff. If it's a big stage, kind of like run at the side and, you know, move with the audience. Tip number six, shoot with other social medias in mind. So this kind of goes hand in hand with a bit of a sub tip. 
over deliver on your promises you know if if the, if you're being booked to shoot a an after movie shoot the after movie but also um do it in a format for tiktok right this way instead of shooting a landscape do portrait as well shoot landscape but then also do portrait if you can set your your angles and your shots up so it will look really good on TikTok like that. It's gonna look really good on both platforms and if you can over deliver on that kind of like, you know, providing extra value to the client, you're gonna get booked again. In Manchester, the local nightclub are switching on to TikTok right now and they're pushing for more vertical content. So if you can shoot an after movie and it looks good on TikTok, they're gonna wanna hire you again because you know what you're doing. So over deliver, you know, shoot with other social medias in mind, you know, aspect ratio, format, and that sort of stuff. And the seventh and final tip is probably one of the most important ones. Know what music you're editing to. If you if you do not know what music you're editing to and you're in the nightclub fil filming a lot of random shit and you get to the editing screen, then you pick out your song. Your shots might not fit the music that you're editing to. So if you've shot a bunch of kind of like techno clips, it doesn't really fit Afro beats, it's gonna look wonky and weird. So if you're being hired by the client, make sure you ask what music they want you to edit to so you know what kind of clips you're gonna get because I believe me, you don't, I did this again, a mistake I made when I first started nightlife. I didn't know what music I was gonna use and different types of music inspire different feelings and so do your shots. If, if you're shooting for techno music but you're shooting as if you're shooting for an Afro beats music, it's not going to match and it's going to look wonky, it's going to look weird. So, know what music you're, you're shooting to. So, as a bit of a rundown, number one, get out into the crowd. Don't stay on the stage like a weirdo. Get out into the crowd and get a bunch of candid shots. They sell themselves 10 times better than pose shots. Tip number two, get a variety of shots. You know, get crowd, CO2, DJ, all that sort of stuff. Number three, make sure you get your well equipped, you know, charge your batteries, you make sure your SD cards are completely clean, you know, they're not full or anything like that. Number four, have some balls, have some confidence. You know, it, it, if you're new to shoot with nightlife, it can be quite a daunting task because, you know, you've got pretty girls that wanted to get a camera. You might want to go up to that pretty girl and be like, yo, do you want to be a camera? You know, I really need a shot of a pretty girl because most nightclubs are looking for hot guys and girls, that's what sells. So have some confidence when you're shooting your nightclub video. Tip number five, don't use still footage. Do not be a tripod man, right? Don't be a camera operator on the Jeremy Kyle show. Have, get creative, you know, move your body, have a reveal shot, you know, have a gimbal shot. Moving footage and candid shots sells itself 10 times better than posed, still pieces of rubbish, right? Tip six, shoot with other social medias in mind. Over deliver for your client. Shoot with TikTok in mind, Instagram Reels, and over deliver on what you're delivering for the client. And number seven, know what music you're editing to. Make sure you, you discuss that with the client. If you're doing it for free, make sure you pick out one of your favorite tracks. You know, you can, you can have a, an easy time editing to it. So that's been all of my tip on how to shoot a nightlife video for the beginners. So if you like what you see here, subscribe to the channel. This is everything videography, video production, video editing. And for the pros, you know, if I've missed some of these tips, leave them in the comments, help some of the beginners out. And my goal is to build a community of like-minded people on this channel. So with all that said, Go smash your nightlife video and I'll see you on the next video.